time going up. I can't see his time. Yes, that is recording. Now. Right, okay. okay. Okay, so here I've got a lovely automated defibrillator unit, and this is going to um, give our patient a shock, so their, hopefully their heartbeat will go back to a regular rhythm, and this is electronic sensors, which will administer the correct current, and we're going to see how it works. So it's all automated, so what you do, as soon as you open it up, it's going to start talking to me. Begin by removing all clothing from the patient's chest. Cut clothing if needed. Okay, this is so we can get a good electrical contact. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the pads out. And it Look shows... Look carefully at the pictures on the white adhesive pads. Peel one pad from the yellow plastic liner. So it shows us where both pads need to go and we do them one at a time. Um, Place pad exactly as shown in the picture. Press firmly to patient's... So there we go. That one's attached. Now we're going to do the second one, and what we're going to do is this is going to allow a line of current to go the through the heart. Look carefully at the picture on the second pad. There we Peel go. the second pad from the yellow plastic liner. So there we Place go. pad exactly. No one should touch the patient. So this is going to analyse now. It's going to detect that heart re that heartbeat, and the reason we're standing no back from it is so that our heartbeats analyze. don't interfere with shock the analysing what's going on. So, it says shock advised, I'm now going to press the button, button and it's going to put that electric shock deliver through shock the two pads. Now. Shock delivered. Be sure the ambulance service has been called. And that's as simple as it is. So you can now touch Start the patient, CPR. you can do CPR. Press the flashing blue button. And if you're not sure what to do, you can press the blue button and it will talk you through it and give you the heartbeat. Place the heel of one hand and so on. in the centre of the chest. And that's the how it works. And that's electronics that we're going to use to help, hopefully, save someone's life. Okay, done.